What's going on everybody? I am back with another Tesla video for you, and this one I'm going to show you a web app that I think is really, really cool. Uh, before we even get started, go to motherfunker.ca, make sure you heart the page, and add it to your favorites, and this will give you quick access to all the web apps I talk about throughout these videos. In the top right, there is a web apps button, you click that, and you have a list. Uh, the red links will quick link you to the website you need to be at in order for the web app to work, and there is a learn more button. If you're on a device that supports YouTube, not the Tesla browser, uh, you can click learn more and you'll be quick linked to that video. Uh, today's video is about mirroring your Android phone to your Tesla web browser. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to click screencast because that's the app we're going to be using. On our phone, we're going to hit load. Uh, you have three options, Wi-Fi network, mobile hotspot, and mobile data. We're going to click mobile data, we're going to hit start broadcasting, and hit start, and it's going to give us a username and password. going to interrupt the video real quick to let you know I can't actually record my screen uh, while broadcasting to my car. I tried recording it like two or three times and it crashed each and every time, so if I discuss, hey, my phone's here on the left, it actually is, but I can't actually show you guys the video footage from that. So uh, let's continue with the video. Uh, the time I publish this video, the username and password won't work because it's specific to my session so not too worried we're going to type this in and once it starts loading i'm going to talk a little bit about the process of finding this one this was a fun one uh log in and it says logging in so it will take a little bit of time to log in and it actually looks pretty quick right now but uh i tried maybe 10 different apps like this where you can mirror your phone screen to your to a web browser app and most of the time the tesla browser came back with uh browser not supported, or uh, it, would, it would load like this, but nothing would actually happen, whereas this one does work. Uh, it is by no means, this one is by no means like a foolproof, uh, I, I think of this more of like a concept. This is really cool, really neat, and it does work. Uh, I just, myself, I can't find a really good use for it, so if you find something, or you have an idea of how you'd use this web app, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, something to note, this screencast app does require a monthly subscription. I'm on a seven day trial. So if you just want to try it out, uh, download it, try the trial and go from there. But uh, I think it's more of like a proof of concept. There is a bit of a delay, uh, like it's it's behind right after it loads. So uh, just something to keep in mind and it will keep loading and there it is, it is up now. So you can see my phone screen is up there. Uh, I can actually hit the home button and I'm going to show you three different apps. We're going to do camera, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, let's do Twitter first. So I opened up Twitter and you can see the phone screen is farther ahead than the web browser, but it actually is working. And if you're not following me on Twitter, do so. It is at M Frunker and I can actually scroll through my tweets and like it's literally mirroring my phone screen onto the onto the car. Here's where it's interesting. If I actually flip my phone uh, accordingly, the f it's vertical right now. It's going to take up more room. It's going to go horizontal. So there you go. There you have it. So we're going to exit out of Twitter here. We're going to go back. I'm going to show you the camera. I think the camera's really neat. Like, again, I don't know what you'd use it for, but here's my steering wheel, and this is live uh, whenever it updates on the screen. So there you go. There, there's my steering wheel. This is live, and there's my car. Uh, I think the concept is really cool. I'm going to show you the last one, which is YouTube. Uh, we're going to click a video. So Tesla Autopilot in the rain. We're going to flip our device, make a full screen, and you'll be able to see it. I'm going to lower the volume on my phone because I don't want to have it pick it up. But you'll see it. It does work, but it's like, not only is it behind, but it's like a little bit choppy or a, a lot choppy. But it is working. Like, that is an actual YouTube video from my phone displaying on the Tesla web browser. That is straight from YouTube, as you saw. Uh, yeah, so this is not clickbait. This is, like, an actual working web app. Uh, I don't know what to use it for, though. Like I was saying before, uh, it's behind, so it's not, like, instant. Uh, you can't, like, you can't interact with it. It's just, like, a visual. And uh, it's, it's a little bit delayed. So I don't know. Maybe you guys have a something you can, like, maybe this is helpful for you in some sort of task or some sort of routine that you use it for, uh, leave a comment down below, let me know, uh, but, uh, that will do it for this web app, if you guys have 
ideas of other web apps you want me to cover or things you want to see, uh, do leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're interested in more Tesla videos, make sure you are subscribed. I got new Tesla videos coming out all the time. Uh, that does it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,